Today, me and my loyal helper Milo will show you how to resize your existing Amazon Merch t-shirt designs for the correct Tumblr format. And we're going to do this all in bulk. So I personally still don't have access to the Tumblr's and Amazon Merch, but one thing that I'm going to do to prepare for it is basically take a lot of my old best-selling designs and niches and resize all of those t-shirt designs into Tumblr wraps. And the fastest way that I've found to do that at the moment is with my designs. The way to do it is you need to head over to the listings tab once you're logged into the dashboard and then create a new folder and upload your designs to it. I've already done this to save a bit of time right here, but if you're not sure how to do it yourself, all you have to do is click on your folder system up here, hit add new folder, give it a relevant name, hit add new folder over here. Then you want to select that folder and open it with a button in the bottom right corner. Then you need to click upload, choose upload files, drag and drop everything into here, and then you can get them imported into my designs. And now the rest of this is fairly straightforward. So all you have to do is click on this button to select all of your listings at once. I'm doing this with 120 in bulk. If you have the uh, entry level subscription plan with my designs, you can do it with up to 48 designs at once, I believe. Now that I've got everything selected, I'm going to click on the canvas system over here, choose the templates and then custom size. Here we have to enter 3000 pixels for the width and 1400 for the height. That is the dimensions that Amazon Merch gives to us in the Tumblr FAQ page. Then you want to click create. And there we go. Now we've got the new layout. Next up, I'm going to click add listing files up here and then add to all. And what that's going to do is essentially open up every single design that we have in our folder within this canvas system. This canvas system is a little bit like Photoshop in the way it works, except you can have multiple artboards open at the same time and you can sync any changes that you make. So if I drag this over to the left, then right click and sync it is going to apply that same placement to all the other designs as well. This is how we're going to resize these very, very quickly and effectively. But in order to know where to actually place these, I would recommend heading to the Amazon Merch templates. I will leave a link to that in the description. And what I did right here is download the Adobe Photoshop template for the Tumblr. This is all the way at the bottom of the page. Then I've opened this right here in Photoshop. As you can see, we've got the guidelines for everything. Then I'm going to just save this. I'll export it for web as a PNG file. And then we can use that inside of my designs as a guide and then drag and drop those guidelines into this field. And then click on them right here, then go to position and select fit to artboard. And there we go. Now we've got these guidelines and we can easily, if we move this to the back, so I'll right click, move to back, drag this design across and kind of eyeball it. We want to have it in the center between these two green lines. That's going to be one side of the tumbler. And then I will duplicate this and drag it over to the other side of the tumbler. That way we kind of have a double sided print, which in my opinion has a lot more value than just having a little bit of front print on the tumblers. Obviously you don't have to do it this way, but if you need to do some resizing, this is what I'm personally going to do. So I think both of those sides look fairly centered in between the green lines. Now I just have to right click on this, hit sync, and then same thing with the other design, right click and sync. And there we go. Now if we flick through, you can see all of these have now got the double sided print alignment. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot is we need to delete this guide from the first image. That way everything is now clean. So save in a new file slot as a PNG file. There we go. Now this is all going to get resized. This might take a couple of minutes, but once that's done, all that's left is just downloading it to a device and then we can publish these onto Amazon Merch. So here we go. That took about two minutes to get all of these resized. And now in order to download the files, you need to click on quick actions, select download right here. Make sure you've got the right file slot selected with the double sided print. You've still got the option to zip this right here or have it downloaded one at a time. Click download and then you're ready to go. If you're new to my designs, then I would highly recommend checking out this video next, where I show you a very easy workflow to upload your designs to Etsy in bulk.